light from fire, sorry. The jinn locate from fire. So he was arrogant. He was very obedient initially. He was very pious. He was one of the best among the jinn. That he was kept among the angels. Baby, you can call me a superman. Chacho tauta takani takupa ma. Hey you, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jason Keegan and right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I wanna thank everybody who've been subscribing to our channel, you are really stand on repeat, thank you so much and also we wanna thank the people who've been able to give us a lot of reaction videos, you are really amazing, you're really amazing uh, people man, thank you so much man, we've been doing a lot of reaction videos and we are actually doing more, we are here to make sure that we actually do your reaction videos as per what you wanted us to do and uh, so far so good and thank you so much keep keep on giving us reaction videos and also we want to thank the people who've been able to comment on the comment section below you guys are just amazing thank you for the positive vibes thank you for making us understand and learn from your comments really amazing a lot of people are giving us positive information a lot of people are giving us informative information that's really amazing and if you're new to this channel we're finding Jesse my girlfriend is not here today and we do a lot of reaction videos any type of reaction video just let us know in the comment section below we're gonna do it for you so right about now we're gonna do this reaction video over here and this was suggested by a lot of people they say like we should go react to this video and yeah so today we're gonna react to kid ask why they didn't kid ask why didn't Allah just finish off shaitan this is by Dr. Zakir Naik so without any further ado guys let's get it yes they both welcome Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmad and I'm, 18, I'm 10 years old. I'm from Westminster School. And my question is, why has Allah challenged Shaitan and given him this chance to guide us when Allah knew the nature of his creation as human being? That we would be carried away, then why didn't he just finish Shaitan at that time? Very good. That's a very good question. The young lad has asked a good question that why did Allah challenge Shaitan and give him a chance to entice the human being? Why does he just finish him and complete him? My dear son, it is not Allah who challenged the Shaitan, it is the Shaitan who challenged Allah. It is opposite. Iblis was one of the best jinns. He was very pious. But arrogance took the better of him. When Allah SWT asked him to bow down to Adam, he said, why should I bow down to a person who's created from mud when I was created from light? From fire, sorry. The jinn located from fire. So he was arrogant. He was very obedient initially. He was very pious. He was one of the best among the jinn that he was kept among the angels. But when Allah asked him to bow down to, to Adam, he did not bow down because he was arrogant. And then he asked for respite. When Allah wanted to punish him, he said that give me respite. Respite means delay the punishment. And I will take your people away from you. So Allah says, I give you respite. He challenges Allah that delay my punishment. And if you delay my punishment, I will misguide your people. So then Allah tells them, I give you, I delay a punishment, I give you respite till the day of judgment. And you will never be able to entice or misguide those moments, those Muslims who are true on my part. But those who are not true Muslims, who are not obedient to me, you will misguide them. So when Allah has given him the chance till the day of judgment, Allah has delayed his punishment. So how can he finish him now? Once Allah gives his word, he cannot go back on his word. Correct? Allah is truthful. So it is the shaitan, Iblis, who challenged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give me respite. Delay my punishment and I will misguide your followers. So Allah gave him time. Okay, I will not finish you. I will give you a punishment after the day of judgment. And you will never be able to misguide those believers, those human beings who are my followers. Those who are not my followers, you will be able to misguide. So this is a test for us for the hereafter. And for the human beings, we come in this world as a test for the hereafter. Those who believe the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, we will be successful in the test and go to Jannah. Those who don't follow Quran and Sunnah, we will not be successful and we won't go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question. Wow. Uh, okay. Such an amazing question here from the kid. Actually, 
this this question right here it seems lame but not everybody asks this question to uh to your pastors your imam or like even your sheikh or whatever this question is really really nice i mean such an amazing question from a young kid right there so Dr. Zaki Naik actually put it in the best way possible. I mean, a lot of people will want to resonate with what he said, but again, a lot of people will want to res not resonate with what he said. Um, like, if you look at it in the real life situation, uh, most of the people will think this way. If God is just amazing being and uh, he doesn't want to see people suffer that much. He doesn't want to see his people die because there are innocent people out there who go to the churches every day, who pray five times a day, who do the best things in life and whatnot. But they are able to, but they are able, but they go through a lot of things. Probably like they are being, some of them die, some of them just you know uh, perish out of um, uh, maybe a bad accident or something like that. So. If you look at all these things that are happening out there to these innocent people, uh, uh, these people think like, why would God just come down and finish off uh, the Satan who's trying to take the people out, or maybe trying to you know create all this kind of commotion out, uh, trying to create these uh, calamities and stuff like that? Why would God just come down and stop them? For instance. There's a lot of people who are dying in, in Iraq. There's a lot of bombing happening in there. People are... Uh, these are other people's mind. They think like, if God is that merciful, why don't he just come down and be able to stop the war and uh, maybe just try to eradicate those people who are trying to bomb those small kids who are in Iraq or maybe Syria. Some people get so furious when they see such kind of thing. When God probably, the creator, the person who created us, the person who's giving us the, this air, who's giving us life, he can just come down and stop uh, what is being uh, perpetrated and what what, what is being uh, fueled and uh, making people die out there. Those are other people's thoughts. But now, when you go through the Quran or the Bible, it explains it in a in a in a meaningful way. That if you believe and you follow the Bible, you'll be able, if you're a believer and you follow the Bible and the Quran, you'll be able to understand why God doesn't want to finish off Shaitan. You understand? So there are two different set of people who feel like um, they are entitled to their own uh, opinion. But uh, all in all, I mean, we are here to we are here to you know to be good people. We are people that love each other. I believe there will be no war, there will be no killings, there will be no, uh, uh, what do you call this? There will be no, and I mean diseases and whatnot, you get it? Most of the people will be dying a natural death. But now look at what is going on today. Human beings are the ones who are creating these things, and these things are the ones that are killing us. For example, we create cars. When we drive cars recklessly, they kill us. We create diseases. Most of the human beings are the ones who create all these diseases that we see in the media, like for example, HIV, uh, Ebola, and all these other diseases that probably they come through food, like cancer and whatnot. All these things are being created by human beings. We are the ones who are consuming them at our own peril and whatnot. So I believe it, if we today decide to say, you know what, we don't want to do all these type of things, trust me, everything's going to be okay. And we'll be in a position to, we'll be in a position to live longer and probably even die a natural death. So, in a nutshell, um, the most important thing is just to love each other and treat each other well, and be your brother's keeper. According to this video right here, such an amazing video, such an amazing uh, question from this kid. Very, very, very good, 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 good question. Anyway, and it can, it, it Doctor Zaki like explained it in a very informative way using the Quran yes and that's really good that's really amazing for the for other people who have their own opinion as to why that uh, God should you know go and finish off Saturn that's their own opinion I mean they're entitled to those opinions 
and but the best way I feel is to you know what try and be good people follow uh, follow the your Quran in the best way possible follow your Bible in the best way possible and trust me everything is gonna be a walk in a park anyway guys Thank you so much for uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section, tell us exactly or tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction videos, and tell me about this video right here. If you, uh, what 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 would be your answer if a kid asks you uh, why didn't Allah just finish off uh, Satan or something? Just let me know in the comment section. What do you think? And do you think that if you if Anyway, hypothetically, if you're God and you see things are happening down there, people are killing each other, what will you do? Hypothetically, I'm not saying you're God, I'm just saying hypothetically if you're God. Just let me know in the comment section below. And uh, let's discuss, let's talk, and let's find out from you people what, 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 what are your thoughts. I'll be able to reply to your, to your comments and thank you so much. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.